Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a different video. At the end of every year or the beginning of every year, um, everybody does like the best of beauty for 2000 or for like the year before or their favorite products for the whole year and everything like that. And I kind of wanted to share something different than what I normally would on my channel. Um, so 2016 for me was a year of realizing um, and I, I feel like a lot of people say that <laughs> about every year but this really was for me a year of realizing things and kind of coming to terms with what I actually want in my life um, so I'm going to just like share a couple things that I realized in 2016 and I kind of want to share them so it's not just in my head so it's like kind of I've said it out loud and then so hopefully in 2017 I can take what I realized and change it or move forward with whatever it is that I realized um, so this isn't gonna be like a 20 minute video on like you know like things that I want to change about myself or anything like that um, but I just kind of wanted to share a couple of the things and hopefully um, if you're watching this it'll open your eyes to something similar and even if you don't relate to anything in this video that I'm saying I kind of hope that it triggers your mind into thinking maybe realizing something or maybe looking at a situation or yourself or anything like that in a different way than you did before so I kind of wanted just to disclaim before I go into this that this video is more for me obviously I'm sharing it with everybody because I hope to inspire somebody or um, bring somebody into realization in you know whatever situation that they are in in their life but um, this is more just for me just to kind of talk without actually talking to somebody because I don't want opinions or anything like that I'm just kind of wanting to state how I feel and a little a little bit of what I learned over the last year so one of the first things that I realized in 2016 was that I need to make time for myself and I feel like that that's something that we don't do often or we find excuses why we can't um, and it doesn't matter how many things you have you have on your list to do throughout the day what your job title is anything like that I think that we all need to just realize that we have to make time for ourselves and I was actually reading the book called um, you are a badass and if you haven't read the book I strongly suggest it um, actually a lot of these kind of books are what helped me open my eyes to realize the things that I've needed to realize for a long time um, but I'm not gonna like sit here and read the book but I just kind of wanted to share a couple of the things that really like stuck out to me in the book because it made me realize like yeah I do need to make time for myself and there is no excuse for why we can't make time for ourselves and we don't have to say, we don't have to make excuses like, oh, I'm busy doing something else. Like, no, I, I just need to make time for myself. There doesn't have to be a big thing going on for why you have to take off work or, you know, whatever. Like, if you need a day for yourself and you feel like your body needs it or your mind needs it, then you need it. There is no other greater excuse than that. Um, so the, the ones, the one of the things that I wanted to share was... Um, it says remember that you are number one put your priorities first don't check emails or voice messages or Facebook until you've gotten into your day and accomplished some of the tasks that you want to do don't answer the phone or texts while you're busy other people's needs can occupy several lifetimes worth of our attention and if you let them they will and that kind of stuck out to me because I'm like literally when I'm like going about my day as soon as somebody texts me I like grab my phone and I'm like like looking at it and I'm like why am I doing that I need to take a second finish what I'm doing stop getting overwhelmed and stressed stressed when little things like that interrupt what I'm doing for myself and the things like that can wait aside from the sickness factor making the time to do things that inspire you should be a priority because um what's the point of living life without them where's the fun in waking up at 80 oh. Ringo Where's the fun in waking up at 85 and realizing you couldn't find the time to enjoy yourself? Ring. <laughs> Mom, do you hear him? Because 
I feel like you he always hear a lot of pe people saying that they wish they would have done Ringo. So that actually stuck out to me too because um, I realized that I feel like we're always our excuse all the time for doing the thing for not doing the things that we want to do is because we didn't have time. The next thing that I realized in 2016 um, is that. Not that, I, not that I didn't ever stay true to myself, but I realized that I really need to start only staying true to myself and not doing the things that I don't think are right or I don't agree with. And there's really no like specific situation that I'm thinking of. I just, me as a person, I'm very like, the things that I believe in, I'm very strong about that. And... I realized that I need not to just do things because other people are doing them or somebody said I should do it or anything like that um, mainly just like not that I normally don't stay true to myself but I really need to focus more on staying true to what I believe in and only doing things that I agree with as well um, I actually had a client um, tell me that obviously like she looks she's like I love the way you do my hair obviously but one of the main reasons why I do keep coming back to you is because I feel like you're such a genuine person and that kind of like I was like really happy that she told me that because I do try like I, I will never I will never sugarcoat things for you I say it like it is and I do feel like that was like a really good compliment like I always just try to be genuine and for somebody to recognize that and then let me know that it really um it really made me feel good and I just realized that that is like one of the things that I strive to be is just a genuine person if I don't like the way something's going or you know like I'm not going to do things that I don't want to do and I don't agree with and I really everything that I do in life it wants to be something that I agree with 110 percent and I never want there to be any hidden meaning behind anything or anything like that. The last thing that I wrote down is not to waste time with things that don't either inspire me, make me laugh, um, or happy, or just make me a better person in general. <clears throat> and that kind of sounds like, duh, no-brainer, um, but you'd be surprised at how many things we like wrap ourselves in and like make our life about that isn't even going to benefit us as a person or anything like that in the long run. And really for 2017, I really just want to make sure that from here on, I really just want to make sure that I'm doing things that inspire me and I'm not wrapping myself up in things that don't matter. Um, I feel like you get what you put out into the world. So I really just want to make sure that I'm doing things to inspire myself or others or just doing things that ha doing things that make me a better person in general because I feel like if we're at least doing that for ourselves then it's really hard for bad things to come your way or it's really and it's really hard not to be successful if you're just making sure that you're only doing things to benefit you whether it's just in your personal life your career anything like that so I hope if you watch this video that it inspired you to do some of the things that I'm doing or maybe it helped you like realize something or it's just going to open your eyes to something that you didn't realize before. Um, so with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing 2017 and I will see you in my next video. I filmed a makeup tutorial on this look so you'll see this video up next.